Today I got you guys all the Origins Remastered staffs guide. In this one video I will show you not only how to build but upgrade all the staffs in DLC 5 Origins Remastered which we all know it's a part of Zombies Chronicles and I will also leave timestamps in the description for each and every staff so it will make it it will make it 10 times easier for you to find the right one that you're looking for and how you build it and upgrade right after that and it's going to make it super super easy so check the description for that and I would honestly appreciate if you guys could drop a big fat thumbs up on this video as a ton of time went into putting everything together as well subscribe to the channel if you happen to be new here we do daily videos and live streams and I'm also doing a zombies chronicles giveaway all you have to do to enter is make sure you are subscribed to the channel and leave a comment saying I want to win something like that and this video will include all the black record locations the gramophone location that's what we're gonna start this video off and I'm also gonna be showing you guys how to build and upgrade the ice staff the fire staff the lightning staff and of course the wind staff again all the timestamps will be in the description but we're going to start from the black record and the gramophone now in order to make the staff you need a couple of things of course like the parts and everything like that but we also need the gramophone and the black record because that will allow you to teleport to the crazy place where all the magic happens consider this a key to opening up portals now the gramophone always spawns in underneath the excavation side which is under the pack punch it's not the first thing you need to go and do but you definitely need it like I said earlier to open up portals and teleport and you also need the black record now there are three locations for the black record it's always going to spawn around the excavation side near the pack punch it's always always going to be around this area it's either going to be right here close to the mp40 spawn if you're playing the original origins or if you're playing origins remastered in black ops 3 yes mp40 is confirmed for origins remaster as well or it can be right here as soon as you purchase this door very very easy to see or it can be on the flip side right here you will see by the boxes on the crates right here uh, near the crates I should say so that's the black record and this is a key if you guys want to open up the down part for the excavation side and that needs to be open so you can go ahead and build your staffs and get the normal unupgraded staffs. of course you need to get the unupgraded staff first in order to upgrade that so the black record is a key for opening up the down part of the excavation side and the gramophone is a mixer that will play that black record and it will be inside the excavation side to the right of the table or on the left side of the table very very easy to see and very very easy to get it's always going to be right here simply pick that shit up place it on the table and play that black record jam and it will open the stairways and you will be able to craft your staffs down there once you have the parts this needs to be done so do it while you're collecting parts and opening up the map and shit like that and as soon as you get this you can now go ahead ahead and get the wind staff record which is going to be at generator number five on the ledge near stamina up or on the boxes right here or down in the lightning staff tunnel these are all the three locations where the eye staff or I should say the wind staff uh, record can spawn in and it's always always going to be right here so once you have got this you can now go ahead and get the crystal or gem some people like to call it crystal other people and I myself like to call it gem when you want the crystal or the gem doesn't really matter you need to go through its original portal and the Winstaff portal is at generator number four near Juggernaut. Simply make your way down to the Winstaff tunnel and teleport yourself to the crazy place. Of course you need the gramophone and the Winstaff record and I showed both of you guys earlier so I'm assuming you do and teleport yourself to the crazy place and you will see a wild crystal appear out of nowhere. So get that shit whole square F or X on the BS and get that shit and now we are on to the next step and we need three three staff parts and all of them are going to spawn in each an individual robot head and in order to make your way inside the robot head you need to be actually looking forward to the robot foot and you will see that the one foot is lit up and the other one is not if the foot is lit up that means you want to shoot that and you will be entering inside the robot head if you don't see any light that means you do not want to stay under the robot foot if you stay of course you're gonna go down so simply shoot the one that is lit up go inside and you will see a wind staff part simply get that shit and now you need to repeat that two more times once you have all the parts and the gem you want to come down here to the excavation side simply come down here build your staff and now we're on the upgrading process now the first step to upgrade the wind staff is to actually make your way once again back to the crazy place and you will see uh, kind of like four rows of symbols and shit like that you want to shoot this row the the one that I'm shooting at right now and you want to input correct 
correct symbols and the correct input symbols are going to be on the screen for you guys right now. The first one seems like a double L or double lines I would say and the next one is like double L uh, and the third one is going to be the apostrophe and the last one is kind of like L and apostrophe. These are the correct symbols and this is a very very easy process so simply look at it and shoot the correct symbols or shoot till you see these symbols and once you have done it you have done the first step. Now for the second step you want to leave the crazy place and you want to come up right here near juggernaut near generator number four and you will see a ball and you will see smoke coming out of it so you want to redirect that smoke to the excavation side so simply stay in the middle and shoot your wind step exactly where I'm shooting at exactly how I'm shooting and you want to redirect that smoke to the excavation side and there are three balls like this and this is the first one now the second one will be around the uh, tank station so simply make your way over to the tank station just follow me along uh, come up from here this is probably like the easiest and fastest way to actually get this done and once you actually make your way to around the tank station you want to come up on this path right here and you will see another ball and you will see smoke is coming out of it so simply redirect that smoke by shooting your wind step at it exactly like how I'm shooting you want to stay in the middle shoot your wind step and you will redirect your smoke to the excavation side now that is number two and the number three one is going to be near stamina up so simply follow me along uh, stay on this pad this is probably like the easiest and fastest way uh, to actually get this done uh, make your way over to the stamina up make sure there is no robot coming your way because it can very easily go down so simply make your way to the stamina up and you will see another ball this is kind of like a hidden one and you want to redirect that uh, redirect the smoke to the excavation side once again and boom you have now done the step two now the step number three is to actually go down make your way down to the excavation side and you want to turn stones till their color is yellow and there will be four stones and there will be four lever around this area you want to go in a circle and you want to find all these four levers pull each and every single one of them down till you see the yellow color and each one of them needs to actually show you yellow color so all four of them and once you see it shoot the ball underneath that and you have done the step as well and now the last thing you want to do is make your way once again over to the crazy place put your staff down and you need about 20 kills once you get 20 kills you can go ahead and pick that wind staff up and voila you now have the upgraded staff now right when you leave the spawn room of course you want to get the shovel that's very important you want to go to the generator number two bunker now that's where you will find the blue disc and every staff of course will have like different colored or a different disc for the ice staff it's going to be the blue disc and you can find inside the generator number two bunker it's going to be either as soon as you enter it's going to be on the entrance of the generator two room it's going to be here if it's not there well you gotta check the mystery box it's going to be around the mystery box spawn if it's not there the final one is going to be near the tank doorway it's either going to be here these are the three locations for the blue disc pick it up and now we're on the step two which is to find all the three I staff parts and the only way you can find them is when it's actually snowing and you need to dig up everything that you see so remember when it's snowing you need to start digging up and it's also very easy to know what parts are you missing simply hold whatever button you need to hold in order to actually pull up the leaderboard thingy or where you see your your score your friend score or your downs and everything like that it's going to show you the blue record and to the right of it it will show you three boxes and the first one means you need the upper part the middle one will be of course in the middle of the map near stamina up near the pack punch aka excavation site or the juggernaut it's going to be here so you need to be digging right there in order to find that specific part and the last one you guessed it it's going to be near the church which is going to be the the down part of the map you need to dig around church room and once you get all three parts now you need to move on and you need to collect the crystal or the gem in order to actually build the staff and the only way you can do this is by you having the gramophone and the black record which I showed you earlier which is going to be always always going to be around the excavation side and everything like that now in order to get the gem or the crystal you need to come up here uh, near the church uh, near the generator number six and the only way to get gem is by coming up in the specific ice bunker or a uh, crazy place you need to be uh, teleporting to the crazy place from this area that's very very important you're not going to get the gem to spawn in if you're taking other places to go to the crazy place it's not going to work you need to be going from the ice place specifically so 
So once you spawn in into the crazy place, go up there, hold square or X uh, or F if you're on PC, and get yourself the damn crystal. Once you get it, basically you can do this step before even getting all the I staff parts, before even getting the disc and everything like that. You can get all of this in any order you would like to, but I like doing everything in order. So get the crystal, and now you need to go down the excavation side. Remember when we put the gramophone in order to open the stairways down there? That's exactly where you need to go. And when you go there underneath the excavation side, you can finally go ahead and build the ice tab and get that shit yourself. Congo, you got yourself the ice tab. Now, in order to upgrade, we need to do a couple of steps, and it's very, very easy. Number one, simply make your way to the church, to the generator six area, go from the ice tab bunker or ice bunker, just get yourself into the crazy place, and that's where your gramophone will be. And once you go in there, you need to actually shoot some stones, and it will show you some symbols. You need to look at it, and you need to shoot the specific symbol that actually represent the symbol that you see on the wall. So I'll have a quick symbol sheet on the screen for you guys. I'm not totally sure who made it. I do not want to take credit for it. It's not me who made this. It's all over the internet. So that's what I'm going to have on the video for you guys here. Simply use this to your advantage and uh, shoot the right symbols in order. And once you do it, just uh, go back, just teleport yourself back. And now just grab your gramophone if you need to, if you're working on other staffs as well. If you're just only working on the I staff, just simply leave your gramophone here because we need to spawn back in in just a little bit so once you have turned all the stones now you need to actually break three tombstones now the first tombstone will spawn around the generator number four footprint it will be right here you need to shoot it with your eye stab that's very important and as soon as you shoot it you need to pull out your gun and shoot it and it will break the tombstone the second one will be near the excavation it's going to be right here uh, once again near the footprint and uh, shoot it with your eye stab and then shoot it with your gun break it and now you need to move on to where you actually pick the uh, blue disc originally from. It's going to be near the tank station number two. Simply come up in here and you will see the robot hand. And that's exactly where you will also going to see the tombstone. Uh, shoot it once again with your eye stab and then shoot your gun and you will break the, the tombstone. Uh -huh. You finally done the two steps to upgrade the eye stab. Now the next step is to come up down there in the excavation side. That's where you have built your eye stab. That's where you need to be. And you will see a couple of stones. There are four stones that you need to turn and the only way you can turn them is by going around this area and pull down lever. Of course there are four stones so there will be four levers so take your time, go around, uh, pull those lever down till you actually see the blue color on these stones and all four of these stones needs to be turned and uh, all, needs to, all of them needs to be aligned and show you the blue color and once you see them you will see a ball. You will see a blue ball beneath them and you need to shoot that with your eye step and once you do that the blue ball will go up there and basically you have done all the steps and you need to do one last step which is to basically collect all the souls and simply go over to the church uh, to the uh, generator 6 area and you need to go to the crazy place once again and you want to place your eye step where you have actually picked the gem originally from or the crystal so you need to place the eye step right there and now you need to get around 20 kills you need 20 kills or souls into the eye staff and uh, once you do it and once you do it you will see a eye staff flashing on your screen meaning you have done it successfully pick that up and boom you got yourself the upgraded eye staff very very easy to do very very simple I hope this guide helped you guys out now you need the purple record aka the lightning strap record which is always going to spawn around the generator number four aka juggernaut and the first location is going to be on the wagon which is going to be very very close to Juggernaut and the second location is going to be very close. Okay, this is like a real one. This is going to be very close to Juggernaut and it's going to be on the table right here. And the last location is going to be inside the Windstaff tunnel right here. As soon as you get this, you can now go ahead and get the Windstaff crystal. And the only way to get the crystal is by going from its original portal. And we're going from the Lightning Staff portal, which is going to be near Stamina Up, near the generator number five. And you will see there's a tunnel. And that tunnel is the lightning staff tunnel. Simply go from it and the gramophone is required. And the wind staff uh, record that I showed you guys earlier. As well, I showed you the, the gramophone and the black record. So you need that and teleport to the crazy place. And hold X or square or F if you're on PC on that crystal. That will appear out of nowhere. Simply get that shit. And now we're on to the staff pieces. And there are, like always,
is there are three staff pieces. Now, in order to get the staff pieces, you need to ride the tank and you need to jump from your tank to the other side. And you will see these ledges around the map and that's exactly where you need to go. And you will see on the footprint uh, of the robot, there will be a part. Normally, you cannot get up there. The only way to get up here is by actually jumping from the tank and the tank needs to be active. So simply jump, go over on the ledge and grab this part from the robot footprint and go back and now the tank will stop by at the tank station and it will recharge and simply once it's done recharging start that shit again and now you need to jump on the excavation side and uh, you will see there's another part grab that and once you get this part simply run back and try and get up to the tank it is going to save you a lot of time as you guys can see I completely missed it but try and get stamina up and run like crazy run and jump there's a strategy but like I, I completely missed it so try and get on that tank it will save you a lot of time but if you miss it hey you can restart it and the last piece is going to be right here you need to jump up here and it's going to be inside the church once you get it go back to the excavation side and build a staff right here and this is how you build the lightning staff very easy and now we need to do two more steps in order to upgrade the lightning staff and the first one is very very easy I will have something on the screen for you guys that will make it super super easy so go back to the crazy place go from its original portal or any other portal it's not going to matter this time the only time it matters is when you're actually trying to get the crystal so go inside the crazy place and you will see there are a couple of triangles and you want to shoot the down part of these triangles and there will be seven triangles and you need to shoot these three sets of numbers that I will have on the screen for you guys in any order you would like to there is no like uh, you need to shoot that 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 you can shoot in any order you would like to but there are three sets of numbers that you need to shoot so the first one is one three and six the next one is three five seven and the last one is two four six it is very very easy and as soon as you get out of the crazy place now you need to actually go and find the dial now keep in mind you can do this as soon as you spawn in the map you can do this at any time you would like to but I wanted to have specific in order in the video so once you learn this you can actually do this even when you're on round one as soon as you start your game or whatever but the first dial will be in the spawn simply turn to the right the next dial is going to be in the tank station right here simply move it upwards and uh, the next one is going to be near the footprint near generator number four close to the juggernaut and you need to turn it down the next one is going to be downstairs church room and you need to turn that to the left and there will be another one upstairs inside the church room you need to turn that down and there will be one around the excavation side where you find the black record you need to turn that down and the last one is going to be at stamina up near generator number five near the the lightning staff tunnel and you need to turn that upwards boom you've got the step correct as well now once again like you have done this many times for other steps you need to go ahead inside the excavation side down here and you will see there are four stones and there will be four levers as well so you need to go around pull those levers down until you actually see the purple color and the purple color we already know it represents the lightning staff so pull them down till you actually see those stones uh, showing you the purple color and you will see a ball down here you can shoot it before or you can shoot afterwards simply shoot that ball and you will see once you have done this correctly the ball will go back to the crazy place and you also need to finally go to the crazy place put your staff down and get 20 kills aka 20 souls that is needed in order to upgrade the staff and that is the last step once you get 20 kills boom you now have the upgraded lightning staff you now need to get the fire staff record there are individual record for each staff of course you need the black record and the gramophone but you now also need the red record which represents the fire staff so it will always spawn around the generator number six around the tank area right here or it can be upstairs in the inside the church and it can also be around the generator number six on the crates right here here. These are all the spawns location for the fire staff record. Once you have it, you can now go ahead and get the crystal or gem. When you want the crystal, you need to go through its original portal and the fire staff portal is right outside of the spawn room. Simply purchase this door that will lead you to generator number three where the speed cola is. Simply open this door and to the left of you, you will see there is a tunnel and that tunnel is a fire staff tunnel. Now, I showed you guys the fire staff record and I showed you guys the gramophone right and you need both of these to actually get inside the crazy place where you will find a gem that will appear out of nowhere simply hold X on that shit if you're on Xbox F if you're on PC or square if you're on PS4 get that gem
gem and now we're on to the staff pieces and there are three staff pieces that you need now the first staff piece you get is by actually shooting down the plane and the part will always going to fall around this area right here you will see it spawn right here simply pick that shit up the next one is by turning on generator number six where you actually find all the records and shit like that and uh, you need to actually turn on the generator and it will be appearing out of this prize box or the soul box simply get that and now you need to actually wait till round eight because on round eight you will get the panzer and you need to actually kill the panzer and he will drop the last piece for the staff you can actually do in any order you would like to but get everything done collect the gem first get the records and get all other staff pieces and once you see the panzer kill him and get the last piece and now you need to actually come down here to the excavation side where you get the gramophone and everything like that of course we have opened the down stairways and everything like that simply come down here and build your staff and that is how you build the fire staff pretty easy right now in order to upgrade the fire staff you now need to go to the crazy place through the original fire staff tunnel so you need to go through that portal go there and you will see four cauldron that you need to actually light up with fire and the only way you can do this is by getting kills when you're on top of it with the fire staff that is very important you need to get kills with the fire staff and you need about like 20 to 30 kills and as soon as you start killing zombies you will see smoke that means uh, all the souls are being collected and you will see all the cauldron lit up one by one and as soon as all those are lit up you will hear kind of like a noise Samantha will be like hey Congo and she will say something else but you will see a vibration occur and that means you have done that stuff successfully now the second upgrade step is to actually come up to the church area and you will see four symbols on the walls right here I will have a cheat sheet on the screen for you guys that will make it 10 times easier simply look at the symbols and look at the cheat sheet and they will tell you what numbers you got in your game the first one or the first symbol is always going to be 11 or 5 the second one will always be 9 or 7 and the last one will always going to be 6 or 3 and the last last one I should say the last one this is the last one right here and this is always going to be the the number 4 so 4 numbers and simply look at the cheat sheet which I have on the screen for you guys and just come up down here and you will see a couple of numbers on the walls and the torches around them as well what you need to do is shoot the exact number you have up there shoot the exact same torch with the fire staff and you will see it will lit up shoot it in the exact same order and as soon as you do it correctly and remember the number four torch will not going to have a number on it it will have a blood stain that means it's the number four torch and you need to shoot that at the end with the fire staff once you do it successfully you will hear Samantha saying Congo or some BS like that like I'm just joking but she will say something like you have done that step correctly and now you need to go down to the excavation side and you want to turn the stones there will be four stones and you will see there are four levers around this area so you now need to actually pull all these levers down till you actually see the red color which represents the fire staff so as soon as you see all these stones showing you red color that means you have done this step correctly and now you need to shoot the ball that will be underneath it and it will shoot up and it will go back to the crazy place and now you also need to go back to the crazy place you can actually take any portal you would like to but we're going to go from its original portal which is the fire step portal go inside and place your fire step right here and you now need to get 20 kills aka 20 souls and as soon as you get that bam here you go you got your staff upgraded and ready to go and this is how you get the fire staff and fire staff upgraded hopefully this was easy for you guys if you guys found this video quick and informative give it a like subscribe for more check out some other staff guides on the channel and i'll see you guys very freaking soon